What's up everyone, I'm Brandon Bruce from Escape and Cover Zone And what's up everybody, I'm Tal from the Travelling Clap And, and today, today, we're flying to the Philippines! Woo! That's right people, my adventure here in Sri Lanka is finished Sadly, it has come to an end I've been here for almost two whole months now It has been the craziest adventure And if you haven't already, be sure to check out my previous videos from Sri Lanka because when I first got here, I spent <laughs> so sad. I spent two weeks during the Tuk Tuk tournament. That was the craziest thing I've ever done in my life. And after the Tuk Tuk tournament, Tal and I we spent another two weeks traveling like the south of. I mean, no, sorry, traveling the north of Sri Lanka. So if you haven't already, check out those videos because it has been some wild adventures. And also, ta 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 ta. And also because Tal and I, we're going to be traveling to the Philippines together and we're going to be traveling for maybe two months together so I thought I'd introduce you if you don't really know Tal well already so please Tal, tell me about yourself, like how long you've been traveling for and what your YouTube channel is all about. Why, well, hello everybody, uh, my name is Tal, I've been traveling for about five years now. Oh, yes. I, two years ago I went to the Philippines and I went for two weeks and I ended up staying for four months because I <laughs> fell in love with the country. That's what, that's what the Philippines does to you. Oh. I'm taking the break for two years from the Philippines, not for two. I've, I've taken a one year break, one and a half, I think. And I'm so excited and to go back. We are going back, but we, oh my god, I'm not ready. This is, we have the biggest journey ahead of us. It's, what's today? What's, tell them, tell them what's, what we have ahead what of us. Have. So, what's today today? Is it the 23rd? It's the 22nd right now. Okay, so it's the 22nd right now. We're going to be catching a car to the airport around 8 30, and our flight is at 1 a.m on the 23rd tomorrow, so that's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we fly up to Bangkok where we're going to have a seven hour layover. No. So that's, oh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be even funner. And then after that beautiful seven hour layover, we're going to be heading to Manila. We'll be landing around night time and probably get there. Right Could in time for peak traffic. Yeah, peak traffic. Peak traffic, probably get to our accommodation around 10 p.m. So, ready for this, mate? So Let's excited. do it. Philippines, here we come. You. Goodbye room. Goodbye kitchen. Goodbye pussy cat. Goodbye office. Goodbye office workspace. Goodbye mini Red Bull fridge. Goodbye refrigerator. Bye, we'll tuk tuk work friends. Bye. Bye bye beautiful Tuk Tuk rental. It's been good knowing you. Let's get ready to rumble. Okay, so we have checked in and we have gotten through all the security, well, most of it at the moment. We've gone through like four security checks. <laughs> this is the most security checks I've ever gone through in an airport. But we have two hours to spare. We're extremely hungry, so I think we're just gonna hang around and have some food. No way! It's Sri Lankan Center again. So airport status, it is currently midnight and we still don't know where to board our flight yet because it hasn't come up on the board. We are extremely tired. <laughs> Darling is passing out on me. But we're just going to hang around this area for a bit. Oh, these are the struggles of travelling. Like, we haven't even boarded the flight yet and we still have a seven 
our layover in Bangkok. So we've lost track of time a little bit and we apparently the flight is boarding right now. So we are making our way there. It's really cool being in an airport around Christmas time because we've got like Christmas decorations set up everywhere around here. Really feeling that Christmas spirit now. There we go, that right there is us. Let's board this plane, people. Thank you. All right, all right, here we go. First flight to Bangkok. Hopefully we can get some sleep on the plane because we are exhausted. <laughs> See you guys there. Welcome to Bangkok Airport. So we ended up getting a really, really good sleep on the plane. Like we crashed hard. It was a three hour plane flight. I slept the whole three hours. And when we landed, like we landed at 5 a.m. And then we were just sort of sleeping until everyone got off the plane. And we didn't realize we crashed even harder when everyone was getting off. And then the workers on the plane woke us up and there was no one else on the plane. <laughs> They're like, welcome to Thailand. So we are here and we are extremely exhausted still. We have seven hours. Don't really know what to do within this seven hour time frame, but I think for me, I'm just gonna chill out and maybe get some more sleep. All right, so here's a funny story. So before I even left Sri Lanka, I kept thinking to myself, I was like, oh cool, it's gonna be the first time I'm gonna land in Thailand. Like I just assumed that, I, I'm, I just kept thinking in my mind that I've actually never been here before. And turns out I've already been to this exact airport twice. <laughs> so I don't know how I keep forgetting this, but I actually flew, <laughs> I actually flew into Bangkok airport when I come into Sri Lanka. I, and I had like a couple hour layover then, but I just keep forgetting I come to this airport. And the very, the very first time, like years ago, when I got my first ever solo flight, I flew to Bangkok. So I'm back again, and yeah, I'll probably fly to this airport a couple more times, and not even remember. So we've now gone through the security checks, and we are brought into this area here. So this is like the main sort of departure area of the airport, and it's a pretty cool airport. There's a lot to see around here. Got this big giant thing. Uh, pretty hungry at the moment, might go get some food and uh, I don't know, we'll just play as we go <laughs> over the next seven hours. So I didn't expect we'd find anything good around the airport to chill out, but we found these epic loungers. Yes. Oh yes. This looks like the perfect spot to hang and chill out for the next few hours. Also, how good is this? So when I left the plane, I really wanted to keep the blankets and pillows that they gave us on the plane. And I just asked one of the people that worked there, I was like, can I just take it can i take the blanket and pillow and the guy's like um technically you can't but if i don't see you take it then i guess you can have it so i was like okay you saw nothing and i took the pillow and i took the blanket <laughs> so this is gonna be ultimate chill right now two hours later Okay, so I've managed to get some decent sleep, which is good, and now it is time to catch up on some work. So, a couple of days ago, while I was in Sri Lanka, I decided to upgrade my laptop and upgrade some new video editing software, and I have now converted to MacBook Pro. So, I never thought I would be converting to this, but I got the brand new MacBook Pro 16 inch and I gotta say, I absolutely love this laptop. I haven't had any issues with it. It is 
the video editing has just been a breeze. And now that I've got this brand new laptop, I have changed completely different video editing software. So I was previously using Adobe, but now there's one on here called Final Cut Pro. So bam, this is it right here. And this software is just so much better. Like I, it's so much easier editing it. There's so much more possibilities for me to improve my editing skills. And I'm really looking forward to just using this in the future because I feel like my videos are gonna get so much better here on in. Um, but I'm really gonna to try to keep up on these Philippines videos at the moment. As I said, I wanna to try to post them up to date. So by the time I get to the Philippines, I'm pretty much gonna post this video straight up. So they're all gonna be up to date, guys, and I'm gonna be going hard with these videos. So let's get to work. Awesome, so I've managed to get a bit of work done and it is almost time to board our flight. So this has probably been like the best layover experience I've ever had because I've managed to get sleep, which is a big plus, and I've managed to get stuff done and it's just flown by. Like if you can keep, if you can manage to keep yourself occupied on big long layovers like this, then that is the best because if you can't, then your time will go by extremely slow. Um, this airport's so cool though. I love how big this airport is. It kind of feels like we're in a big giant bubble. It seems like the weather's cleared up really nice. But when we come in, it was extremely foggy. And I couldn't, I couldn't even see the end of the wing. It was that foggy. But yeah, this is it guys. It's finally happened. Time to board a flight to the Philippines, Manila. See you there. Philippines. <laughs> oh my god, we're here! Yeah. There we go, thank you. Is it my bag? I think it's my bag. So it seems like we've already encountered tonight's first challenge. So we're trying to get a ride to the city. Um, and they have a Grab here. So I, we're checking to see if they have Uber. So they have Grab and Uber. I tried to set up my card for Grab. And I don't know why, but I used three of my cards. It wouldn't accept any of my cards. So we're going to see if we can use the Uber. Um, we've, we've been here like for 15, 20 minutes now, just trying to figure this out. So hopefully we'll be able to get a ride to the city shortly. Will they find a ride to Manila? The world may never know. There are always like 10 attempts of the Grab and Uber. I don't, we don't even know if the Ubers are still around this area. They might have discontinued that. But after around 10 attempts, we just kept doing it and doing it and we managed to get a Grab. So we're going to be on our way to the hotel. Thank you. Accommodation now, and like we still have to go further, but the drive couldn't go any further because there's something going on here. It's literally just like a little party going on. I think they must just have so many Christmas events happening at this time because, of course, Christmas is in a few more days. Ah, it feels so like good. Jingle all the way. I don't know what's happening, but I love it. This is where we're staying. Nice. So we've made it to our accommodation, but we haven't really eaten anything in a very long time. So we're gonna head out and get some, get our first Filipino dinner. So we haven't even been in, in the town for a few minutes yet, and we've already hitched a ride on a bike, so we just need to get some money out at the bank. So let's see the road, people. Yoo-hoo-hoo! Look all the people. <laughs> Jesus. 
There's just so much happening around here. Every single street, every corner we go, there's people everywhere. There's stuff going on. Oh my God. The Philippine has it all. <laughs> hey man. Hey Brandon. It's a little busy out here, isn't it? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Egg noodle? Yes. Nice. What is this? This, uh, this one is a uh, chicharon bituka, pork's uh, intestine. Intestines, yeah, it looks like yes. intestines. <laughs> yeah, so I've got my first ever Filipino meal. So we got some putties, we have some garlic rice, and let's see how it is. Wow, wow. Oh, that's really good. That is sweet. Oh, damn, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, good food. Amazing. It's so good to mix it up now, coming from like uh, Sri Lanka, just eating the same old rice and curry, rice and curry in Sri Lanka. But coming to this, oh yeah, this is good. Okay, so we got some people to come sing us some Christmas carols. Oh, they even got their little boot box, nice. <laughs> is this SpongeBob? <laughs> Oh, oh, this would be a good Christmas carol. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> yes! This is the best Christmas carol ever! <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost for words. I'm absolutely I'm lost for words. so much. This is the best country in the world. Ooh. 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 Wait, hey, you got someone on stilts. <laughs> Where did she come from? Look at this little kid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. Come here, go. <laughs> oh, it's stage fright. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is Philippines Christmas carols. How awesome is that? We've got another little interesting street performance going on here. <laughs> I have zero idea what's happening right now. Alright, so it's dinner time here in Tondo and we have ordered ourselves some nice fresh chicken and apparently Filipinos whip up a mean barbecue around here. It smells so good. So looking forward to this. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Alright, so it has been an extremely long, exhausting day, but we are now finally settled in in the Philippines. So this area we're staying at right now is called Tundo. Not many people come to this area, like it's, it's not really known for tourists to come to this area, but we're here for a good reason and tomorrow and the next few days, you will not want to miss out on those videos because we got very exciting plans to come. Also a big shout out to John for letting him stay at his awesome Airbnb. And if you guys are thinking about staying in your own Airbnb in the Philippines or anywhere else around the world, be sure check out my coupon code below in the links below because you'll get $40 off on your first Airbnb so it is well worth it and also check out the links for this place too because it is pretty good and from there on in guys I really hope you enjoyed today's wild adventure as you can see Philippines is a very special place such friendly locals and there is so much going on and I cannot believe I'm going to be spending like the next three months in the Philippines. It is going to be wild. So be sure to subscribe to my channel to never miss out on the adventures to come. And thanks for watching. Follow your dreams. Escape your comfort zone. I'll be seeing you guys on the next Philippines adventure. Woo!